Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion. Let's take a look at a video. I just watched a video that said an archaeologist found blood underneath the spot that Jesus was said to be. Yeah, that never happened. If you know, blood can't live outside the human body for more than a couple hours. I think it might be like a day. When they went and tested this blood, it was still alive. That also never happened and only had 23 chromosomes. A regular human body has 46. You and me have 46. So half human. We all know that Mary was his mom. That's not how chromosomes work. Does this mean what I think it means? Is this fake news? Maybe I'm being pranked? Because why has this not made national television? These claims are over 40 years old, but you've never heard of them because they were entirely made up by a man named Ron Wyatt, who was not an archeologist, but who went around the world pretending to be an archeologist and pretending to discover Noah's Ark, the Ark of the Covenant, the Ten Commandments, Jesus's blood, and literally dozens and dozens of other artifacts that he insisted proved his specific Protestant take on the Bible to be true. He never produced a single shred of evidence for any of these claims related to this blood he claimed to have discovered while digging underneath what is now known as the Garden Tomb, a location that a lot of Protestants since the 19th century have insisted is the location of Jesus' crucifixion and burial. But it's not either of those things. Wyatt was never able to produce a single lab report, a single scientist, a single sample of blood, a single video attesting to any of these claims because they were entirely made up. And to this day, if you go visit the garden tomb, you can ask them about this and they will give you a letter that flatly refutes Wyatt's claims and also points out that they observed his excavations and they went into his excavation shaft and they never saw him find anything related to his claims because Ron Wyatt entirely made this up because it never happened. My mind is blown. I recommend learning to think critically and Google competently. And the fit for this video has been Miles Morales.